Good morning guys! Happy New Year! I hope you all had the most amazing Christmas and a very nice New Year as well. I haven't vlogged in what feels like forever and it feels so weird like talking to the camera again. Um, I had a well earned, well, if I say so myself, um, I had a break basically. Um, I've never ever taken Christmas off apart from when I worked full time before I even vlogged. Um, and I just felt like I needed it. I basically, oh, the week before Christmas, my mind just went crazy and stupidly, I did do some silly things. Um, I'm not sure if I want to tell you what I did because it was really, really stupid. I basically misplaced my car and thought it had been stolen. That is how bad it got. Um, oh, my postman's coming. Do you parcels for me? <laughs> yeah, so I misplaced my car and thought that someone had stolen it. And I phoned the police about it as well. So that was a sign that I needed to take some time off of work and just chill and have some family time and spend some time with Chris when he was off as well. And do you know what? It did me the world of good. Like if you're overworked and you feel stressed, then I definitely suggest taking some time off if you can. Um, to be honest, it wasn't very busy blogging anyway because emails weren't that busy, people were off work anyway. So I felt fine doing it anyway, but I'm ready to be back now. Is that the postman? No. But yeah, so I feel like inspired to come back and be vlogging again, and yeah, I'm just happy. Oh no, I've just missed a parcel. He was, I didn't even hear him knock. I swear I didn't hear him knock. Maybe I did, I don't know. I am gonna try my best to be positive this year. I've bought some self-help books. Um, they should be coming today, I think. So maybe when they come, I'll show you which ones I picked up just in case you're interested. I just feel like I need to just train my mind to think differently. I need to like think positive more often. I also want to get into shape because obviously I get married this year. I get married this year, that's so weird saying that. But yeah, so I get married this year, and to be honest, it's not that long to go um, from now. So I feel like I just need to like, I've got enough time basically to just get into shape. I don't want to lose like loads of weight, maybe a little bit of Christmas weight. Um, but yeah, I just feel like I just want to get in shape. I want to feel better about myself, I want to tone up. So yesterday, very cliche, but I rejoined my gym. Yeah, so I rejoined my gym. Um, I'm really nervous about going. I haven't gone today because um, oh, I, just, I feel nervous. I'm going to go tomorrow. I'm going to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to go to the gym for an hour. See how it goes. I'm sure it'll be fine when I'm there. Um, and yeah, and that's going to be the start of my healthy eating and healthy living, positive mind, positive body. I just basically want to feel good about myself again. So I'm doing it. I've made the first few steps to do it and I'm doing it. And yeah. If you guys want to join in with me, then you've still got time. <laughs> but yeah, so that is what's going on. Anyway, so this morning I'm going to do some emails and sort those out because I haven't done any for a while. Um, so I'm going to get that all sorted. I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow and then on Thursday I am going to go for a brunch and then I'm going to film on Friday. So that's the plan. And maybe I'll even film tomorrow if I feel like it. But I need some ideas of what to film because... I just don't know what to film. I've, I've been inspired all Christmas and then when it comes to it, I'm like, I don't know what to film. So yeah, so I'm gonna get like sorted with that. So yeah, so that is the year and that's how I'm starting my year and I'm gonna try not to get down about silly little things anymore and you know, just try and be happy and positive because we only live once and that is what I'm gonna do. So yeah, I've got my camera on a tripod and I hope it's not too shaky, but it feels really fun. So it's a bit later now, it is 3.30. Um, I must admit, it's really hard like getting back into this vlogging malarkey. Like, I find it really difficult to remember to pick up the camera. Um, for this, I haven't really been doing that much. I've just been doing kind of emails. It turns out that not a lot of people are actually back at work today. I thought today was like the first working day of the Christmas holiday, but um, nope, some people are back tomorrow because I'm getting their out of office um, replies. So it's kind of made me feel a bit lazy really because I'm like, oh well, if they're allowed a day off, why aren't I? We're going to Chris's parents tonight, so um, I've got to get ready to go there as well. Luckily I've already washed my hair and done my makeup. I do need to do something with my hair though because it looks very flat. Um, I don't normally leave it straight, but um, I have at the moment. My hair is really, 
my hair always annoys me but it's really annoying me at the moment because i basically had it like feathered at the front it looks really wonky to me and i kind of wish i never touched this bit because it makes it look a lot shorter than it is like if that was all one length it would look so much longer so yeah i'm a bit annoyed that i actually asked to have that done um ages ago um but yeah that's not really the biggest still in the world but yeah look it kind of just looks really short but anyway it's not the funnest of starts to um the weekly vlog but it will get there we'll pick up <laughs> so my gym bag is packed <laughs> i even have all of my gym clothes laying here my bra um <laughs> it's like I could get up and go and get ready and then this morning when i checked my texts the gym is closed this morning due to a flood on the premises <laughs> so my gym morning didn't really work out as i had planned um and as you can see i'm obviously not made much effort yet i haven't even had a shower yet yeah so gym is off <laughs> this morning i could go later i guess but i kind of had myself so hyped up to go this morning and now i'm like oh man like i was really ready to go um, so yeah, so I don't actually think I can go tomorrow. I could go later. I know, I'm gonna have to figure out another day to start the gym, but I was really ready to go. And then, you know when you're kind of nervous about something, but you hype yourself up, you're like, no, it'll be fine, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And then you're like, oh, <laughs> I can't do it. But yeah, anyway, no gym is happening this morning. So I'm just gonna run myself a nice bath. I'm going to film some videos instead because I haven't filmed anything yet. And I would quite like a video to go live on Sunday this week. I have some ideas of what I'm gonna film. I need to cover this spot. Why do I get a spot right in the middle of my eyebrows? Like seriously, it is there with all to see. It's very red and very sore. Um, and my eyes are very dark. There's not a lot going on for me today, actually, so I'm gonna try and sort it out. Thank goodness for makeup, that's all I've got to say. Imagine if we didn't have makeup. Like, you know, I know some men wear makeup, but for the men that don't wear makeup, oh my God, what do you do? You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, anyway. There's someone that's had like a little car accident outside our house today, and I feel really sorry for them, but they've also parked outside our drive now. Um, but yeah, kind of sucks when you've had a car accident on the third day back at work, doesn't it? So at least I'm not the only one that's having a bit of an unproductive morning. So I've just finished filming my first video, which was a hair tutorial. And even though my hair probably doesn't look much different to you guys, but I have actually been wearing my hair like this quite recently, and um, quite a lot recently, I mean. And um, yeah, it's kind of like a relaxed wave, really. But I thought I'd do a video on it because it's the first one back after the new year. And um, this is my setup today. I'm literally just using the window for lighting because I don't know, these videos seem to do better on YouTube. I think people just prefer like a proper like relaxed sit down video. So I've just got my little background, but I'm just gonna film my second one now. So I'm just gonna have a little move around of the camera, but I think I'm just gonna stick with natural light because the weather today is okay outside, but it's not too dark. So I'm taking making the most of it and yeah, so I'm going to film my second one now and then I'm going to put everything away and then edit them and get one up for tonight because obviously I've got no weekly vlog to go live. So that is the plan for today. Um, I'm going to take some selfies now because I want to have makeup on and I don't normally have makeup on, let's face it. So I'm just getting out a top to wear myself. I think I might go for this blue one, this little thing. Um, I am leaving the house tomorrow, you'll be glad to know. So tomorrow I'm going to go see Hannah and Debs who I met um, I think in last vlog, maybe for breakfast, we go for brunch quite a lot. Um, they're bloggers as well, I leave their links below. Um, I really like going and seeing them because it always leaves me feeling quite inspired. So that's good. And um, yeah, I'm going to take some selfies now. I have nothing else to say. Selfies done. I just popped my hair in space bun. Well, I don't know if they're called space buns. I think they are. Um, but yeah, I really like this. It feels so 90s though. Like I'm so worried about wearing this out of the house. But yeah, I might wear my hair like this tomorrow. I'm digging it. It's so sunny today. Like, look, this is me standing in the sun. Ah, oh, tan me. Please tan me. Any of you guys that like live in a hot country, I know America or somewhere that's really hot at the moment, I'm so jealous of you. I want to be there. Um, yeah, it really sucks when you live in a cold country. Like, it just can be quite like depressing. And um, everywhere it's always so dark and dreary and i don't know you just get that really horrible like depressive winters but i guess you probably get that anywhere i guess you can get that with the sun can you i don't know if you can get that with the sun but yeah i'm just gonna clear up now i'm just gonna clear up these little bits that i've got on my bed 
it's really nice not having to pack away all of the lights. I really enjoyed the film without any lighting today. Do you guys like my bed sheets, by the way? These are from Primark, and I love them. They're so, like, nicely patterned. Um, yeah, I really like them. I do need to change them soon, though, and I'm really sad because I want to stay keep them on there forever. They do have, like, an other layer as well, which is, like, um, grey pattern as well. So you could have them that side, too. I like when you can have them either side. And yeah, I'm going to pack away now and then have some lunch because I'm starving. I'm going to have a smoothie for lunch um, or some kind of fruity thing. I'm going to be healthy today. Um, it seems I couldn't go to the gym because it had flooded, which was really annoying. Yeah, I'm going to take this lipstick off as well because I can feel it on my brace and that is not good. Good morning, guys. So it's Thursday today. Don't know where the week has gone, but it is Thursday. Um, this morning, I'm just on my way into town because I'm going for brunch, like I mentioned, with Hannah and Debs. It's really, really sunny today. I know you can't really see me because the camera's going crazy in the sun. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited about that. I've got my hair in like little like buns today. I feel like a bit 90s, but I did it yesterday and I just really like this. I really like it like this. I feel like my 90s self. Um, but I do feel, whenever I do something different with my hair, I always feel really nervous about it. I'm like, oh my God, like, it's so stupid, like, but you've got a, you know, I've got long hair. I should make the most of being able to put it up because when it was short, I didn't do anything with it. So yeah, so that will be nice anyway. I haven't really got anything else to um, say really. <laughs> and I thought I'd show you my outfit even though it's really really basic but I kind of like it today um so this is my t-shirt which in the mirror I mean in the camera looks a bit weird it kind of clings to this boob only which is strange but yeah this is a really really baggy t-shirt that I got from Topshop and I really like it because it's so baggy it kind of looks like a dress but it's actually a t-shirt and then I've got it on with my waxy um trousers from Nex which are my favorite thing ever because they're just so flattering and comfortable and um they're the only wax trousers that I can wear all day and not feel like slightly sweaty in without being too much information <laughs> I've got my fourth and reckless boots on in black which I've been showing you the bronze ones quite a lot recently the laces broke on them so I've got them in black and I've been wearing these instead until I get new laces on the other ones I've got my little choker on and this one is from Topshop and then I've got my hair in like little kind of cute space buns with some 90s like hangout bits at the front I actually really like growing my hair like this. Uh, a little bracelet from Espanol, Espanol, whatever it's called, of London. I'll leave all the links below, by the way, so you can check them out. And I always get asked where my glasses are from when I wear my glasses. So these are just from Vision Express. They're the in style range. Um, they're quite new. I've only had them uh, a few months at the most. So I don't think I've had them too long. So I can pretty much get that they'll still be in there they're actually the cheapest glasses i've ever purchased normally when i go and get um eyes tested and i need new glasses my glasses prescription and my frames that i choose always come to like 200 pounds and i'm like why like i get so bored like i've got these ones and these are from super dry these things cost me an arm and a leg i mean i did wear them to death like I wore them so so much and got so many compliments on them as well I need to get the glass bit the lens changed because they're not my prescription anymore but yeah these are from super dry from vision express for those asking about these ones as well these were like 200 pound with my prescription because I got the anti-reflective and stuff like that but I guess if you are blind like me paying for glasses is kind of just one of those things that you've got to accept and do I need to turn the brightness up so yeah, in the new year, I decided that I wanted to kind of work, I don't know, on getting myself positive, which positivity to me doesn't come very easily. Like, I'll be honest, like I have quite a, I mean, I'm a happy person. I have quite a positive mind, but I also have a very negative mind if I'm in that kind of mindset. It's just being a normal person, really. But I picked up these books because the reviews looked really good. So this one is called... A Mindless Guide for the Frazzled, and this is by Ruby Wax, and the reviews on Amazon for this looked really, really good, so I thought I'd give it a go and, um, yeah, see what it's like. Um, it has quite good, I mean, Stephen Fry, this Joanna Lumley's put a thingy on it, um, and then I bought this one, which is also by Ruby Wax, and this is Sane New World. Um, it's a, um, Ruby Wax just had to 
how to our minds can send us mad as our internal critics play a permanent loop tape. Do you know what? This is basically exactly what I need. This one was like a second kind of, I'm going to buy another one. This is the one I'm excited to read. And I'm going to start reading this like later on in bed. I'm going to the gym, but can you read books in the gym? Probably not. Um, I'll see if anyone's reading a book in the gym today. And if they are, I'll take this with me. Or, um, but yeah, so got them from Amazon. They weren't that expensive, really. Six pound each or something, which for a book isn't too bad. I remember paying like 20 quid for a book when I was in my younger years, in my teenage years. Um, whoa, I've got some emails. Um, okay, so I need to get on with my emails. I need to get on with a flat lay. I need to stop talking because I'm going to the gym at half three today. Although I'm kind of gutted that I'm going to the gym because I kind of like my hair today. But anyway, that's that, never mind. Just got ready for the gym. Blackest outfit ever. But I feel so much more comfortable in black. Obviously I'm not wearing the sock and slipper combination as much as I wish I could. But yeah, I'm going to the gym in half an hour. Already dressed and ready to go. Got my gym bra on, my baggy top and my black leggings. I actually quite like this outfit for around the house. But um, these leggings are so comfortable. I can't believe I've had them in my like little um, drawer and not wore them for two years. But yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Gym is done. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, believe it or not. But I think I need to get like a proper gym routine. But anyway, I'm looking gross now. I'm going to have a nice bath, have a pasta bake, because we haven't got any salad in the house. I need to do a food shop. And um, change the bed and then chill because I'm knackered. First day back at the gym after two years was tiring to say the least so yeah good night and i'll see you in the morning morning guys just got my food shop from sainsbury so i'm just gonna empty that I feel really lazy never going and doing my own shopping, but doing it online is so much easier when you work from home. Because you can just look in your cupboards, you can have a little think about what you need in the, in the space of your own home, basically. Um, but yeah, I feel knackered this morning. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know if I slept very well, actually. Um, but yeah, I feel pretty tired. And I don't know why. I think I need like a coffee or something. Um, maybe it's going to the gym actually. The gym did knock me out a bit. I, I did sleep. Oh, I did sleep quite well, but then I feel tired. But I don't know what's going on. Some yogurt, a pie for Chris, pasta, soup, broccoli, asparagus, lettuce, Mediterranean bacon in the oven, vegetables, sweet potato mash, corn jetty. That was the healthy bag. I'm pleased it was that one I showed you. Almond milk, razor blades, bathroom cleaner. Bathroom cleaner with bleach, toilet bleach, and bubble bath. Pack choy, three, three packs, brown basmati, rice, rolls, satay stir fry. 12 pack water times two. Diet Coke, caffeine free, gluten free quiche for me. Hummus, corn steak, orange, no added sugar, squash. Again, my favourite. Radishes, grapes, bistro salad, spinach, cucumber portion small size because I don't like it and mushrooms because they are the best thing in the world oh. eggs lost again in the last minute I told you everything I wanted to and now you follow me and I follow you is all packed away they're waiting here to go up in the loft um this actually terrifies me this thing it's a wooden christmas tree i put a bag over the top because it's really scratchy and that's the only way to lift it but when i walk in it kind of looks like a small person is standing there like a small bride and it's quite terrifying but everything looks just so empty like excuse the mess but this corner everything just looks so sad like my bunting's gone <laughs> This is just back to normal. It all looks so empty and not cozy anymore. 
I've left up this little heart wreath though. I don't think it's that Christmassy. It's eucalyptus, so it's staying. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, I've got to take these down. Do you think they're Christmassy? Could I get away with those? I don't know. Maybe I could actually. I might leave them there and see who notices. <laughs> it's much later now. It is four o'clock in the afternoon and to be honest, my day has been sat at my computer. I've just finished editing Sunday's new video, which will be live um, this weekend. So you can go and watch that already. It's wedding tips. So things that I've learned through wedding planning. Um, if you're not getting married, I think it might still apply to you because hopefully one day you might be, or you might just love weddings, or you might just be interested. Um, so yeah, so go and have a look at that. I'll leave the link below. Um, I'm really worried this vlog has been really boring, but I haven't really done anything this week. And to be honest, it's been a bit odd, like trying to get back into it. Um, when you have a break from vlogging, it takes a while to like remember how to do it and to remember to do it as well that's the big thing yeah, so thank you so much for watching guys and if you did enjoy the video make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe yeah it's been really nice to be back i must admit i have missed youtube and i've missed vlogging as well have a lovely week whatever you might be up to leave your comments below as always because i do really really love reading them as well so yeah see you very soon guys bye